an official announcement about a Formula One movie came last year when Hollywood megastar Brad Pitt and seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton expressed their desire to produce a movie based on a racing story. With the two high-profile names involved in this movie, it caught the attention of many F1 fans. Now everything is ready to start filming in the upcoming weeks at the historic Silverstone circuit. However, the name of the movie is not yet revealed, and according to the rumors, the movie will be based on a story of a Formula One driver who comes out of retirement to mentor and team with a younger driver. Through this video, we are going to discuss about this movie in detail as it caught attention again with a statement made by the Formula One CEO Stefano Domenicali related to the movie. But before we proceed, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon for more exciting updates. This unnamed movie is ready to be produced by Hamilton's new production company, Dawn Apollo Films, in collaboration with Apple Studio. Apple TV is already in partnership with Lewis Hamilton as it's making documentaries about the seven-time world champion. Apple CEO Tim Cook appears to be interested in this F1 movie as he has met with Hamilton and Pitt during last year's US Grand Prix and also waved the checkered flag to end the race as well. Talking about his movie last October, Lewis Hamilton said, I have such high hopes for it. I know we're going to make the best racing movie that's ever existed, both visually and we're going to work on making sure we pull on the heartstrings of all those fans. This movie will be directed by Joseph Kaczynski, who was behind the recent blockbuster Top Gun Maverick, which was nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards. Some of the technologies used in the production of Top Gun will be used in this latest F1 movie too. Jerry Bruckheimer, who was involved in the production of the Top Gun movie, as well as the Days of Thunder movie based on a NASCAR story, will continue the same role in this movie too. The script of the movie will be written by the writer Aaron Kruger, who was also behind the Top Gun movie, but he is already getting help from Pitt and Hamilton to improve the script. Pitt will play the main role of the movie, who comes out of retirement to mentor a young F1 driver. IMDB also lists Hamilton as part of the cast, but his involvement will be limited to only on-track action, along with other current F1 drivers. Talking about his role as an actor in the movie, Hamilton said, I don't plan to be in it, no. It's going to take us drivers to be involved in filming the on-track action. But we're not actors. We don't want this movie to be crap, which is probably why I'm not going to be part of it also, he said further. Filming is expected to carry out in the second half of the 2023 season, and the filming crew will use various locations to capture real drivers in action. According to the estimations, it will take around one year to complete the filming, with a similar schedule to Top Gun. Netflix's Drive to Survive series had a great impact on the sport by capturing a new fan base, but Liberty Media CEO Greg Maffei believes that F1 needs something more than just Netflix's Drive to survive to attract more fan base towards the sport. He talked with a positive vibe regarding the movie. The Simpsons has gone for 20 years, but there aren't that many shows that run for that long, he said. Drive to Survive is wonderful, but we cannot rely on Drive to Survive to be our only promotional vehicle forever. You've got to keep it fresh, change the game, and that's one of the things I'd like to think we've done with the team entering F1. Credit Stefano, what we've done more recently around other kinds of Instagram and TikTok and the like. We're keeping it fresh and different. This movie, kind of like Vegas, is going to be a whole other level. As much as Drive to Survive is enormous to a lot of people around the world, I still go places and people say, huh? Its audience is not that big. It may be big among this group, but it's not that big. A Brad Pitt movie with Lewis Hamilton consulting and with Bruckheimer and with the director from Top Gun Maverick, we've already seen some of what they're going to do and how they're going to skin these cars. They took the technology from Top Gun and it's going to be amazing, Greg added further. However, F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali has cautioned that F1 will have to control the production in order to prevent it from interfering with the real action on race weekends. Domenicali told a meeting of F1 investors, that's another way to show what we want to do, something different. When we started the collaboration with Netflix, the F1 community said what's going on, this is not our place to be, and now we understand the power of it, and then we added the very strong presence with social media, making 
ensure that all our drivers and teams are very active in promoting the sport. And that's another tool with the movie. Actually, we're going to start the shooting in Silverstone very soon. And you will see it will be the first movie when basically they will be within the racing event. It will be quite invasive in terms of production. It's something that we need to control in a way. But it will be another way of showing that F1 never stops, he added further, explaining the impact of the movie on the sport. Still, the name and the release date of the movie are yet to be revealed, and many experts in the film industry expect that it will follow a timeline more similar to the Top Gun movie. That means the movie will hit the theatres most probably in late 2024 or early 2025. This new movie will be distributed in movie theatres for the first 30 days, and after that, it will be broadcasted on Apple TV+, Plus, according to the agreement. Do you have any interesting rumors to share with us? Please use the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel to get more exciting Formula 1 news. See you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.